Yeah, so it is there, uh, but in most instances, uh, our government make it difficult for whoever wants to come to come. Right? It's like they could be like they could say, "Oh, we want sixty percent of your crew to be Zimbabwe," and someone is not going to risk their project. You know, it's like, okay, 6% of my crew is going to be Zimbabwe, and I know nothing about Zimbabwe. But so it's about those kind of conditions. And then, because we've done, we've done, we've worked on some that come, but it's here and there. Right? So that's mostly on government policies, I would, I would put it, where they sort of need to ease them up a little so that people can come. Uh, you have, no one will come to Zimbabwe to shoot something 100% on their budget when next door in South Africa, they know if they go to South Africa, they're going to get like 30-40% back. So it's not favorable here. And we're so near other countries that have favorable conditions. So it won't make sense for someone to come here. Joe's 100% right. The, the issue is that, you know, in SA, there's, they actually have kind of making an effort to encourage co-productions, international co-productions. So with the tax rebates, exactly. And so not only do we not have that, but for a crew to come here, they're also not going to find, um, you know, the exact uh, latest equipment that they want. Um, you, they're not going to find the same level of skilled crew that they can find in South Africa. So we definitely are very disadvantaged. As soon as somebody's looking at Southern Africa, then why would you choose Zimbabwe over South Africa? where you've got a much more developed. So we need some kind of way to attract people. And unless that happens, then th there's no real reason for that other country to decide to pick us. We would be very happy to co-produce with another country, but are they happy to co-produce with us is the question. Um, and I think another point in relation to co-production is if you look at Nollywood, Nollywood started with zero state support. Nollywood started without any co-production. But now, uh, somehow they seem to have attracted the eye of investors. Uh, Harvard, a few years ago, did a big study on, on, the, on, on, on the profit, uh, potential profit that, that's in the, in the Nigerian film industry. And the Nigerian film industry uh, contributed. So a few years back, Nigeria leapfrogged South Africa as the biggest uh, economy on the continent, and you know why? Because they added in the receipts from Nollywood. Um, and so Nollywood actually made uh, Nigeria become the superpower uh, in te economically on the continent. And so you, you, you find that they did not necessarily need co-productions to begin with. They just went on and did it. They just did their thing. They produced the volumes, they became visible, and then they got noticed. Because capital also goes about sniffing out you know where the profits are, and and the bongo film industry in in, in, in um, Tanzania is the same. They now have lots of co-productions there with many European countries, South American countries, but they didn't start out with them. If they had wanted to go out and beg for them, they would never have found them. But what they did was just they just made their films, and most bongo films you wouldn't know about them in Zimbabwe because they are all in Swahili. They are they are local language films. But they've got a market, a local market, they are huge. Everywhere you go in Zanzibar and so on, the DVDs are everywhere and the stories are everywhere and so on. So I think there's, there's also something to be made for saying, um, would anyone want to come, like Tommy saying, if there's no volume, if there's no quote-unquote industry, if, if, if there's no visibility. So I do think um, something has to be made for taking the route that Joe and others are taking for saying, you know, let's, let's knuckle down, let's stop complaining, let's just make the movies and hopefully the volumes will tell. Uh, but at the moment, someone might not see much when they look in from the outside and say, oh, you know, there's nothing being done. So what sort of infrastructure exists? Perhaps there's nothing, but infrastructure does exist. Mm 